This episode is brought to you by our patrons. Support Ancient History Guy on Patreon now. The first battle of Syracuse had been a resounding draw, with neither the Syracusians or the Athenians gaining a decisive victory. It was now that the Syracusians, having experienced how powerful and organised the Athenian military was, began to reform. It was now the Syracusian general, Hemocrates, took control of the situation. Hippocrates reduced the number of generals in the Syracusian army from 15 to 3, electing himself, Heraclides and Sisanus. Hippocrates then sent envoys to the Syracusian home city of Corinth and their fellow Dorian city of Sparta, asking for aid. The Syracusians then spent the winter of 415 BC building forts and a wall encircling the city. During this time, both sides attempted to gain more allies, with the Athenians trying to get aid from the Carthaginians and Etruscans. Around this time, the Syracusian envoys arrived in Corinth, meeting with the exiled Athenian Alcibiades. Alcibiades advised the Spartans that there would be an invasion of their lands if Sicily was conquered. Sparta began preparing for war answering the call for aid from their fellow Dorians, appointing a man named Gallippus to command their fleet. However, reinforcements from Athens arrived first. In 414 BC, 250 cavalry, 30 mounted archers, and 300 talents of silver used to pay for 400 Sicilian mercenaries arrived. The reinforcements landed on the Epipolae which was a cliff above Syracuse. The 600 Syracusians defending it were defeated, losing 300 men. Both sides now began building a series of walls. The Athenians constructed a series of fortifications nicknamed the Circle, which was intended to blockade Syracuse from the rest of the island. The Syracusians in response constructed a series of counter walls, along with various forts with the Athenians destroying parts of this wall. The Syracusians soon built another one, this time with a ditch. Again, the Athenians attempted to destroy this wall. However, the new defenses proved too much, with the Athenian commander Lamachus being killed in the attack. However, the Syracusians could not break the circle, with the Athenians eventually completely blockading the city. In response, the city of Syracuse removed Hippocrates and Sisianus as generals and replaced them with three new generals. Syracuse seemed to be on the back foot, with the Athenians reinforced and completely surrounding them. However, help was on its way. Thank you for watching and listening to our video. If you like the channel, help support Ancient History Guy and be sure to head on over to our Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month you can gain access to complete documentaries as well as the exclusive Ancient History Guy Patreon feed. Any help is greatly appreciated and it enables us to do more videos. All sources are listed and linked in the description below and be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy and as always, I'll be seeing you later.